The first port of call for BOI's monitoring crew in Kaduna on this episode is Benchmark Agro Resources Nigeria Limited, a feed mill factory promoted by Abifari Oluyomi. We are basically into uh, production of animal feeds, mainly poultry feeds. But we produce feeds for other animals too, small and large ruminants. We, I, started, I started Benchmark in, 19, in 2007, precisely November 2007, we started Benchmark, and since then we'll be producing poultry feeds, basically. But our business, we started very small, very, very small, with some locally fabricated machines that are very small in capacity, and uh, with very little tools. He narrated how he came across BOI and the tremendous improvement the relationship has brought into his business. Uh, sometimes around May 2009, I met a consultant who told me about BOI, and we approached BOI, submitted a proposal, we were able to scale through. We got the first disbursement, which we used to procure a generator. And the second part of it came in 2012, which we used in you know, procuring our machines that we use in milling feed. Uh, since we were able to ac assess this uh, facility and we were able to put in these machines in place, it has allowed us, it has increased our capacity to meet the market demands. And before we got the machines, we were basically operating within Kaduna, attending to local customers. But since we installed the machines, we were able to get into Abuja, Jaws, Bauchi, Adamawa, and Kano. After capturing the northern market, Benchmark Agro is now targeting the other geopolitical zones of the country. So our strategy is we now move towards the south-south, southeast and southwest. And uh, we were able to get to Port Harcourt, uh, already in Asaba, Onicha. We are in Lorin, Ibadan, and the um, Ikorodu area of Lagos State. We are emphasizing the south, south, southeast, and southwest because we found out that there is good market potential there too. By and large, we've been able to expand our operations since we got the machines. When we started, we were only able to engage services of maybe all of us were just about five, five, between five and seven. But as, as I speak with you today, we, uh, the number of people that work with us directly, uh, uh, our staff are over 30. And um, it is actually, it has a multiplier effect. All our distributors do. We are, we are able to service them. They also employ people. And, uh, you know, our suppliers too, people give us uh, raw materials, the vendors. They are also able to expand their business. So, to a reasonable extent, the finance we got from BOI has actually helped to expand our business scope. He also shared with us some specific achievements of the fund he got from BOI. Before we got our machines, sometimes when we want to produce 30 tons, like the trailer load, it takes us a lot of time. The whole day we are on it. But since we were able to get the present machines we have, the trailer can come in here and within the next two, three hours it's loaded. Once the raw materials are on ground. Before we install these machines, our monthly production was, was below 200 tons. But presently, we are going towards 1,000 tons per month now. 
So reasonably, the machines have, have actually helped to promote that oppression. And especially the generator, a lot of times, we have outages. We all know the situation with electricity in this country. Without the generator that is being sponsored by BOI, I doubt if we'll be able to achieve whatever we're achieving now. The fund also increased the quality of his product, which resulted in a booming demand for his feeds. But by and large, we're always able to satisfy our distributors and the farmers patronizing our products. And we thank God that those who are that the farmers using our feed are always coming back. There's repeat purchase because they, they get results. Their money's worth is what they get from what we, we sell to them. Uh, so far, so good. We are still in business and we are working stronger. And we intend to maintain our presence in all the states we are now. And probably over time, long, you know, uh, launch into other states we have never been. And I know Lord Almighty will help us. We'll be able to go back to BOI again and probably expand our operation again in the very near future. He then took us around the factory. This is our power, <laughs> I'll call it power station. This is that the big gen there is the one BOI bought for us. Uh, we also have smaller ones to support our operation when we are not produced, when you are not using the big machine. We own the small ones, those two. This is our factory. These are the machines we use for producing feed. It is being sponsored by BOI. These are finished products. These are some of our raw materials. We are expecting some raw materials, that's why we are not. Yeah, all those ones, they are, yeah, they are all raw materials. From Benchmark Agro Resources Feed Mill, which operates in the small enterprise category, the crew moved to Minab Enterprises Nigeria Limited, also a feed mill and a poultry farm that operates on a micro level. We met with the farm manager, Aliu bin Umar, who told us why the company delved into feed milling alongside the poultry farming. Before, we only rear birds and sell eggs for consumption. Uh, then we come to say, ah, why can't we go into feed production? So that we make our own feeds, feed our birds, and then subsequently make the feed, sell it to the general public. So as far as machinery is concerned, we say BOI is the best option for us to go for BOI. Quite something to do with industry. Yes, that's why we go for life for BOI and they give us assistance. He then shared with us how the support they got from BOI has assisted his business on all fronts. Really, before, we are buying birds, I, we are buying commercial feeds, you see? But now when we start making our own feeds, we buy our ingredients, maize, hoit opal, granda case, so many, in short, concentrates plus maize and hoit opal. We manufacture our own feeds. That's what, that's, I'm talking about the ingredients. We mix for about, about 12 in number. You mix and produce your own feeds, either chicks, depending on the type of birds at the age of the birds. Layers for egg production. They eat three types of feed. From one to eight weeks, they eat chick mash. From eight to point of lay, that is 18, 20 weeks. You give them, they are growing. When you give them gross mash, when they start laying at 20 weeks average to the end of their production, averagely one year, you start giving them layers mash. So coming back to your question, we started with chick mash. Chick mash, we are buying chick mash commercially at the rate of about 2,200. That is the average price. But now, to tell you the facts, now I'm making my own feeds. The cost price about with transportation, transportation of the feed ingredients, it cost me 
an average of about 1,750 naira per bag, for a 25 kilogram bag. You see? So you can see the difference. This one commercially, 2000, about 2,150, 2,200. This one about 1,750. So you can see the difference, margin. One can save in one month or in a day, times 30 days in one month. It's a lot of money. <laughs>